What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite girl, Leticia, for coming straight out of sick and 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 sunny SoCal. You know the deal. So thank you so much for tapping into this video. If this is your first time, welcome to the fam. If you're not new, you already know what the deal is. So let's go ahead because you want to find out how to control those thoughts and emotions, especially if you're in a relationship. But you know, if you're single too, let's go ahead and drop the beat. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and the bell right next to it if you haven't already. And also, drop some comments down below after the video is over, giving me some value, some thoughts, some, you know, comments, whatever you want to say. And then also, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, okay? And if you felt as if you can put this to action in your personal life. So let's go ahead and take it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a few tips, but first... I really want to mention information about the mind. The mind, well actually your brain, it's the most active muscle in our body. It really controls how we think, our drive, you know, our dreams, like our creativity. It really does a lot. And your mind really just allows you to look at things you know, a lot differently. So, and that's what I wanna do. I wanna switch your perspective a little bit. So, fun fact here, if you're a book reader like me, I forgot the book and the title. However, I did remember the statistic. 80% of our thoughts are negative. Yeah, negative. Yeah, so 80% of your thoughts are negative. Isn't that shocking? However, I want you to take this as a positive, okay? This is how we're going to control this, okay? Because, you know, you can't, once you go down, you must go up. So once there's something negative, there has to be a positive. So with these negative thoughts, we're gonna shift and be able to control that so that we can actually use that as leverage, okay? And turn that into some positive ideas. So let's not ignore the negative. We're gonna actually take key to, you know, just take it on, it's like, ugh! What you say? We're gonna do that right now. And I'm gonna give you some tips to do that, okay? Because you know what? Sometimes your ego wants to come in and just start fighting. Like, no, I'm about to be negative right now. You know, but you gotta really come in and be like, wait, what'd you say? You really gotta talk to yourself like that, guys. Like, I'm just serious. Like, in your head, you don't have to talk out loud. Like, people are gonna look at you like you're crazy. <laughs> but you're not. You're not crazy, okay? And it's like crazy when, you know, you th you're, you're like, oh, yeah. Having a good old day, and then all of a sudden you think in your head right away like something bad is about to happen because my my day is just going way too smooth, right? We all do it. I've done it, right? So we're gonna learn how to control that. I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks on how to get that fixed. So first tip, tip number one, is to start your inner dialogue, and I want you to ask yourself these three questions whenever you get a negative thought right away or a negative emotion that you're feeling. Okay. Question number one, okay, is this thought true? Question number two, and you can write these down. Is it true to who I am? Question number three, is this thought holding me back? And if so, how is it holding you back? Question number four, is this thought helpful to my environment, to my situation right now? When you question thoughts, you become clear as to why they're happening. You might want to talk to a coach or a mentor. You don't realize how helpful it can be to voice what's going on in your mind. When you're outsourcing for assistance or you need help or you just want to figure out, man, how can I just like just live a positive life and just vibe, right? You know, it's super powerful, number one, to speak to somebody else. And since it's an outside source, they have what's called an unbiased opinion, meaning this person doesn't know nothing about your life, what you're going through, and what's going on. So they'll be able to actually really use those listening skills to really figure out what's going on and figure out ways on how to really assist you and guide you to get you on the path to where you need to be. And also, too, a cool tip if you didn't know, when you hear yourself talking out loud, it can actually be healing to your conscious and subconscious mind. Now, here's another cool fun fact is that if you hear a lot of people when they're working, you know, your work buddies or friends, and they're talking to themselves out loud, 
they're actually very intelligent. So don't make fun of them when they're speaking out loud. Uh, they're a little bit more intelligent than you. And there's a lot of tests that actually prove that people that talk to themselves are more analytical. They get things done. They're more organized within, excuse me, they're more organized within their brain and they're able to put more action to the ideas that they have in their mind. Tip number two, you wanna label your thoughts. Now, there's another book that I read, I think it's called something like Mean Girl, like Mean Girl Talk, something. Oh, I wish I remembered, I'm sorry. Uh, when, if I find them, you'll find them in the, in the comments in the description down below, okay? When you have a negative thought, recognize it, right? Like, what? What'd you say? I hear you, you inner mean girl or inner mean guy if you're a male. You're not winning today. I cancel that. Let's say, for example, you're out, you're chilling with your friend. You go meet up, you know, your, your best friend asks you to go somewhere with her, really. You know, like her wing girl, right? So you guys go to dinner and then you start meeting all these people and then you just have one negative thought and you're like, I normally don't think like that. Oh my God, why do I think like that? I heard you say that. Like, so literally take that second and, and, and like check that thought is what I call it. Check that thought. Wait, can you rewind? Check that thought. <laughs> this is where you start to control your inner thoughts, okay? This is very important, you guys. Very important. You do it. I know you do it. You know you do it, but you think when you're doing it, you think you're crazy, but no. You gotta really stay tuned and focus with your temple. Okay, tip number three. Now, once you recognize you had that thought, I need you to realize where did that thought stem from? Now, this can be very hard to decipher. It's kind of like a needle in a haystack per se because of what you're feeding your mind throughout the day. Ooh, that kind of rhymed. <laughs> so, Let's say, for example, you're scrolling through Facebook on break or lunch, you know, you're, you're just reading all this drama, all this stuff going on in the news, you know, you got all these like horrible memes going on, you know, then you go on Instagram for another 20 minutes and like you posted a pic like a few hours ago and everybody's like, ew, what is she wearing? Oh my God, her hair looks like crap. Oh my God, he looks so ugly. Did he, uh, are his fingernails dirty? So you start to read the hate comments and the negative commentary. And so hearing all of that throughout your day, you're feeding your mind all of this negative energy and these negative thoughts, right? So we're not perfect. Things happen. We get emotional. We get upset. We get mad. We might act on it in a way we shouldn't, and it just goes haywire. But I'm here to tell you, don't act out of emotion. Take it like a grain of salt. <laughs> brush it off your shoulder and just move on but you gotta really accept it first and then move on you have to accept it like my mom always told me you know you better pick and choose your battles like is it really worth your energy really like is it somebody that's really of your stature or somebody that really deserves your breath your response like come on we gotta live for ourselves and not for other people right you should be posting for you like your online social media should be your own personal portfolio of fun that you want people to see that you want to go back and look at your kids whatever you know because once something's on the internet it's on the internet honey so the more control you have of your thought the more in control of your life you feel that you have right and when you become more in control of your life you feel powerful you become powerful let's go to tip number four okay so you want to speak to somebody who knows your value and or you can also do an activity where it just grounds you so whether that's going to a psychiatrist or a mentor or a coach or a best friend or a loved one or a partner or that's going to a meditation or yoga class that's playing a sport or you know listening to music or doing something on your own i want to let you know though when you go to certain classes specifically um, like teachers, psychiatrists, coaches, you know, meditation, yoga, whatever it is, they're there for a reason to heal you and help bring out those happy spirits. Tip number five, journaling. When you journal and write things down, you guys, it's something about 
We can talk about another video about manifesting. So thoughts become things. When you say things out loud, you're adding another level to that manifesting, right? And coming into fruition. And then when you write it down, that's another level, okay? So journaling really helps you to really focus and tap into that area of resolution and creativity. And why do I bring up creativity is because whenever you have a negative thought or an emotion, you can actually shift that energy. Sorry guys, my cat. And maybe you can help build up somebody else. So for example, all of the thing, all of these videos, these empowerment videos that I've been doing, I've actually gone through it. And I've actually been able to heal and help other people once I healed myself. So I wanna bring out those tips and tricks not just because of what I learned in school and education, because I actually really went through them in my personal life. And you want to actually get your mindset working for you. Because when you don't, you're just going to be a lost soul. You're going to be sad. You're going to be looking to vices and things of that nature. And your life might just start dwindling down. This is not easy, okay? It's something that you have to be consciously aware of. Challenge alert! All right, so I challenge all of you. You know, I always got my challenges going on here. Every once in a while, they pop up. I need you to look up on YouTube, Kevin Trudeau, level four. Now, this is something where you can wear your AirPods, your earphones, whatever you wear, your little space cadet on your head, and get about a cool eight hours of sleep. Put that on, level four, put your earbuds in, get in a relaxed mode, and just listen and fall asleep to it. When you do that, you're programming your mind, okay? When you're in REM sleep, that's the best time to program your mind. We need to start reprogramming. Get out those old clunky thoughts, get out that negativity, and wake up and be like, ah, damn, I feel good. I guarantee if you do that for 30 days, listen to Kevin Trudeau level four, you are actually gonna feel so good when you wake up. You're just gonna be like, man, I got so much energy. So then after that, I'll challenge you to start from level one and go all the way up. Yes, I'm not even gonna tell you the number of levels. You can Google it and comment down below once you find the number. I wanna see who really looked up Kevin Trudeau, okay? Always take time for self-development, guys. When you do that, you're here to fulfill your dreams, you're here to walk into your purpose, and you're gonna really live a better life because it all starts within inside of you, within you first. If you're not good here and your whole shot enough, you ain't gonna be good, you know, making moves anywhere else. You gotta get this right. It takes dedication, discipline, and practice. If you really want something really bad, you're gonna do it. You're gonna make a change. If something is not working out in your life, you're gonna find a way to make it right, right? So learn how to really get your thoughts and emotions in tune with where it is that you're trying to go, where it is with whatever you're trying to do, okay? So let's go ahead and move forward in life. If you got some value, don't forget to smash that thumb and subscribe button, okay? And I'll see you guys on the next empowerment video and at the beaches and the banks. Peace.